Hello and welcome to Kino Good Vibes Only. Today we are going to be doing some unboxing and one of the things that we're going to be unboxing is PewDiePie. PewDiePie, not the vlogger, but PewDiePie's chair. I ordered an extra large PewDiePie chair that has lights on it, that has LED lights on it, and it's amazing. We're also going to be unboxing probably one of my favorite things right now, which is an extra large easel. If you have seen my Paris vlogs, you probably know by now that my goal in life is to be a minimalist, but it's going to be hard, but I think I'm doing a good job because the two things that I'm going to be unboxing here uh, are the things I really need, so it should be fine. A little sunrise from the house. Good morning, everyone. So we are going to be assembling a Nature Frame Studio easel. It's heavy duty. It has wheels that lock. And the instructions, it's very easy to understand. It's only one page, label one, two, three, four, and so forth. The wood part, the wooden parts are numbered and the screws and metal parts have letters and it's really easy to follow. Just you just kind of have to maybe have a little bit of experience using screwdrivers for you to do this. And uh, the struggle, the only struggle that I have with this one is that some of the pieces they are kind of stuck together and it's gonna be kind of confusing if you don't have everything on the ground so you have to like kind of organize everything on the ground so you can see where everything is I think I just said on the ground multiple times oh my gosh I think this voiceover recording is taking forever I already chopped this vlog into two I'm kind of rushing but it's actually really fun so while I was doing this, I was listening to music and you probably heard a snippet, it's Ben and Ben. I'm listening to Ben and Ben's playlist and Amazon Music and it's amazing. I love Ben and Ben. It's an amazing Filipino folk pop band and they're using their platform to campaign for Lenny Robredo, Kiko Pangilinan and their group of senators who have done a lot for the Filipino people, which is amazing. So if you're assembling the back or the final piece of the easel, make sure you kind of lay it on the ground if you're not strong enough, because it's this one's pretty heavy. As I told you before, the easel flips flat. So if you paint in watercolors, this one's a good idea as well. Later in my next vlog, we are going to be painting. If you love painting, please grab your materials and join me in the next vlog. We are going to be doing an art exercise that I always do. We are going to be doing an art experiment. We're going to be painting like Rothko and paint our feelings. I also got a few 30 by 40 canvases from Amazon. It's amazing. They came. The package usually comes cracked or something, but um, it's so weird because this this package is kind of like delivered nicely there there's, there are no dents or anything i'm surprised okay so that's basically two hours in four minutes and now we need tea time this is my favorite teapot and i got this from Insadong in south korea i was walking outside my hotel in jongno area and Insadong is a popular place for shopping and they have ceramics and I asked this Arabuji, Arabuji's grandpa for Korean if I can buy this teapot because it's one of a kind that looks so much different than the others that he was selling and he gave me he gave it to me for almost half the price of the other stuff that he has which is weird and then they proceeded to pack it but before they pack it they emptied the the teapot it looks like he was using it for his water and they sold it to me so that's very nice of him if it is a personal teapot 
So it's kind of like my favorite teapot now because I love that he sold it to me even if it's using it. The tea that I'm drinking right here is green tea from Narita Airport. If you have if you haven't seen my my layover in Japan when I flew to Guam, please feel free to watch my Guam vlog. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna be opening PewDiePie. This is not PewDiePie. This is PewDiePie's product. He has a gaming chair, and this one's extra large. It's from Clutch. It's very comfortable. And we are gonna be assembling it together. But before we assembly, we have to read the manual. It's a thick manual, but all I did really was to look at the pictures. There's nothing. I don't really like reading manuals unless something happened. Something wrong happens with the product. So that took me a few minutes, maybe four minutes, and then I started just assembling together. I thought the hardest part would be the wheels, but it actually is the easiest part because you just kind of push the wheels in. They have holes underneath the 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 base of the chair. It's pretty big, it's extra large. After the base, I kind of set it apart. We're gonna put the 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 seat of the chair and the back seat. It's pretty easy. You just screw it together. The hard the hardest part is putting the the plastic covers because you're kind of like screwing it blind. And this one is also the hardest part. It was kind of hard to figure it out, but um, we just wait for it and you'll know how to set it up. Like um, there's a couple of bulging stuff on the chair and you make sure the, the 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 biggest bulge is towards the edge of the seat and the smaller bulge is actually for the base of the chair as you can see it has led lights it's really cute i shouldn't say cute i should say beauty like pewdiepie beauty the only problem oh i was kind of i kind of got scared because the the seat has the LED lights, but the the back seat doesn't have the LED lights. So I kind of like troubleshot. I kind of looked at it. Um, the plastic tubing for the LED lights needs to be connected underneath. So you kind of like lie on the floor or on your carpet and find this, find the spot. You kind of have to stick it together, get it together, stick it in the hole, and screw it together, like that. As you can see, the LED lights is automatically automatically changing into the colors of the rainbow. It's so nice, but if you don't like the rainbow colors, you can, you can also choose which color you have, you, you, which color you want to set it to. You will have a small remote for the LED lights. And the LED lights, the LED chair, you don't need to plug it. It has a battery. It's It runs using a cell phone charger. So you're going to have to charge your an external battery and connect it using a USB cable. I don't use this every day because I'm scared it might, I might damage it and it might not lit up again. But when I'm feeling sad or blue, I kind of like turn it on because they give you happy colors and happy vibes, like good vibes only. That's what this vlog is all about. But uh, you know what? Every time I watch my old vlogs, it's not good vibes. It's cringe vibes. I kind of cringe. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. It's okay. You see, I'm 5'9". When I visit the doctor, I'm 5'9", but... If I'm with my friends, I'm as tall as my friends who claim they are six feet. Some of my friends, they would say, they would tell you they are six feet, but I'm actually as tall as them. So that means they are probably five nine or just lying. And I think it's kind of normal with guys and girls. I don't know why. Why do you need to lie about your height? Everyone can see you. And as you can see, it has a good support for your lower back, lower back and your cervical area it's very comfortable it can almost lay flat and you can probably sleep on it it's extra large uh, i'm kind of big and it's the perfect size for me 
So that will be it for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much. And in my next vlog, you would see me use the easel for a paint with me session. We're going to be doing a Rothko. Thank you and see you in my next vlog. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.